Hey guys, today I want to show you a few things, but mainly I want to show you how you can save fabric by railroading it. Also in this video, which the title doesn't talk about, but may, who knows, is how uh, running a fabric changes the complexion of the whole piece, what it looks like, and I'll explain that in a minute. But before I go any further, here is all, I, I took the liberty of doing all the measuring with the three inches that we usually take a little bit more, right? We, we measure from where we actually are going to be stitching or upholstering or stapling and then adding three inches overall. And that's what these measurements represent. We've done other videos showing you how to do that, but I, this is a little different. I want to show you uh, what, what a, a chair like this, a boxy looking chair like this, if you run the fabric the correct way, meaning off the roll, you waste a lot of fabric because on this one here, there are really no good measurements. I'll explain that in a minute. But first, let me just write inside back is IB. That's the inside back. This is the inside arm, and this is the top of the inside arm. Note that, you guys, right? The top doesn't go this way. A lot of people do that, and that's very important. All your measuring, because I have a, a stripe-like fabric, which I'll show you in a minute. But make sure that when you measure and you line up all your measurements underneath these little slash marks, which indicate up and down and side to side, that you are looking at each piece separately and from the floor. You're standing there, and you're going vertical, horizontal, and don't mix it up like any way. Don't, don't rationalize that maybe if I turn the fabric this way, it will look better. Never do that. It will never look better because you, you forget sometimes that your outsides have to line up too. And they have a top. The outside arm has a top this way, right? And the outside back. So let's go over to my chart, all my measurements. So <clears throat> if we were to run the fabric the correct way, and I'll show you what the correct way is. This way on this chair. That's the correct way, meaning or, or the way it's coming off the roll. And we'll get to why why this fabric can run two ways and I was happy that the client picked the second way and I'll show you that in a minute but this is a very poor chair very poor measurements for a fabric that you have to cut from the roll like that because look at this 38 that's a that's a bad measurement because it's over half 27 right um, 30 another 38 another bad measurement you're not going to be able to get anything on the other side except maybe piping Okay, because this, this so far we're off to a very bad start. This is poor too, the inside arms being 46. Um, we waste a lot that way too. Um, but this is if it's running the right way. So then the inside back is probably the only good measurement we have yet if we were going to run the fabric off the roll like that. Because that's the width of the fabric, that 54, right? That's interesting. <laughs> that's very unusual too to have, a, to have something that's 54 inches. But that's, that's probably the first good measurement. But look, we're already four into it before we get to our first good measurement. Bad measurement, bad measurement, okay, a lot of waste. So it's possible you could give a quote on yardage on a chair like this and then have you, and then and run out, run out of fabric very quickly. Because for instance, um, you look at your inside arms, um, that's gonna waste two yards, it's two yards of fabric there. That's a good measure, so we won't count that. Here's uh, two, maybe a yard and a half, and then you know you're wasting. You're not utilizing the fabric. Now, let's say um, I called the customer. I wasn't leaning her anyway. Okay, I was just saying which way do you prefer that the fabric run? And this is also part of this video is how how switching a fabric around can change the whole complexion of a piece. And this is a good fabric to to talk about that way. Now, when you run this fabric this way, it, it screams southwest into me. And, I, and you know something? I don't mind Southwest. I kind of like Southwest, but some people don't like it. It's a very distinct taste, right? But look, it has all the Southwestern colors in it. And almost, you know, Southwest is distinguished by fabrics that run like horizontal or horizon, right? Horizon, think horizon. So uh, she doesn't like that. She said, I don't like Southwest. I want to run it the other way. Boy, was that music to my ears because I'll explain as far as not running out of fabric. I'm just going to let this fall for a minute. Right over here. So she said, no, I, I want it to run this way. Look at that, you guys. See how much that changes the whole complexion? Now, right now, that, that you can see the diamond shape on this. Okay, and diamond shape, diamond patterns, one of the oldest traditional, I mean, they used to have it in a horsehair fabric. That tells, tells you, I mean, the, the pattern, diamond. 
that tells you how old it is, how, how, how long it's been with us. So it, it, it looks like a diamond. It, the whole horizontal or southwestern look has gone. Isn't that interesting? But the best thing, you guys, the very best thing is, now my measurements change. Now my measurements become really good measurements. So I go right to the inside arm right here. I can get, I can get two out of, the, out of the width right here because I'm turning it. Do you see what I'm saying? Let's just show you. So if we turn the fabric this way, sorry Pat, <laughs> this way, now let me just get it straight up a little bit. So I can go from the salvage to the bottom and I'm only concerned about, um, as far as centering, this bold stripe right here is I'm going to use for the center. I don't have to worry about a horizontal stripe, which is really important, right? So I look at my measurements to 28, 28 or 28. This fabric actually is 56 inches, but if it were 54, I'd go back and I'd remeasure and I'd try to get that to be half the distance. So I, say, I would save a yard of fabric by doing that. And oftentimes you can go back on your measurements and try to make it work, okay? So let's say your fabric was 54, you got the 28. You go back, see if you can get it, and we'll put a stretcher on the bottom. Oftentimes you see a stretcher, manufacturers do that a lot to save fabric. You could do that. Two out of a width saves one yard of fabric there, right? This one here is, is okay, this is a good measurement. For both, for both ways, it's a good measurement. Here, right, we can get, we save another uh, half a yard half a yard, we save, save a half a yard. This one here, we still aren't doing too good with those measurements because it's over the half, but maybe on this side. Nope, we're, we're a little, let's see. Yeah, this, this is not a good measurement, but you need the fabric anyhow, right? But so far we've saved a yard and a half. And then right here, look at you guys, right? You add these two up. One, right, and 10, 11. And then three, four, and that's that's a width of the fabric. So you can get two out of a width here. That saves, that saves another half a yard of fabric. So when you add up, with the railroading has saved us two yards of fabric. Does that make sense, you guys? Do you see why that's that's advantageous? Not all the time, but on this chair particularly, when you get a box chair, uh, railroading is is definitely going to save you fabric. So. That's a pretty exciting job, I think. Pretty exciting that it came through the door and it is so timely for this YouTube video. I hope you've learned something, so we'll see you next time.